three zero zero positive one half. Okay. All right. Next one. We have arsenic. Well, arsenic is found uh, right here. It's in the third column of this group of six over here. It's found in the fourth row. All right. So this is row four. And that means then that n equals 4. It is the p range, and we know that p electrons occur whenever the L value is 1. Those are three-dimensional figure eight shaped paths that are represented by these six over here. So L equals 1. Now, when that happens, we have three possible numbers for M. Negative 1, 0, and 1. So well, this is going to be one of those three numbers. Well, um, this is the third electron of that. So one and two go here, three and four go here, five and six go here. First and second electron, third and fourth electron, fifth and sixth electron. Now I'm going to tell you right now, there's a variation of that that is kind of important, but we're just going to follow this pattern, and when you get to the next level, you'll learn what I mean by that. But this is the third electron right here, so that is represented by the number zero. So it's the second half of the three three-dimensional figure eight shape paths. Now, the three is the first electron in this path. So since that's the first electron, this would be negative one half. So this represents the four quantum numbers of electron number. 33 of arsenic. So electron number 33. Of arsenic. That's what that represents. Okay? Next up, we have platinum. Now, we find platinum down here in that group of 10 right there, and all these, remember, are one row late. So, platinum is found in row number one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is row six. So that means then it's gonna be level five. So that equals five, because it is one row late. It's supposed to be the fifth row. It's not found in the sixth row, so it's the one from the sixth, get five. Okay? Now, the fact that this is found in the middle 10 means you're dealing with the D electrons, and we said that D electrons are represented by the number 2. So 0 sphere, 1 is 3 dimensional figure 8, 2 is, um, um, I'm sorry, that shamrock. It's a shamrock shape for this. All right? Now, when that happens then, M, becomes negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2. One of those five numbers representing the five paths that make up the 10 electrons found in the middle. Okay? So, um, that means the first and second go here, the third and the fourth electrons go here, the fifth and sixth electrons go here, uh, seventh and eighth go here, and ninth and tenth go here. Okay, which one are we dealing with here? Well, take a look at the platinum. Um, one, remember that space there is one. Two, three, four, five, six. Electron number seven, oh, number eight, platinum, eight. So it's found right here. It's a fourth half, but it's designated by number one. Okay? And then S represents which of the two electrons found in that path it would represent. Well, in this particular case, it's the second electron. Seven is the first, eight is the second. And the second electron is given by the positive one half. So that is electron number 78 of black will have those four quantum numbers. And finally, uh, Samarium, SM, 
SM is found down here. This is in the F electron area. That means it's going to be two uh, rows behind in its level. So this is found in, in row six, but it's actually supposed to be in row four, but because of the weird configurations, the energy thing, and all that stuff, it's only a fourth level electron. So this is row six. That means then that end is four. Two rows late. All right, it's found down here the weird shape, the F electrons here. And we said that that value is equal to three. That represents the weird shape the electron has. The M then, the possible numbers for M are negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Seven halves. So that means one and two goes here. Three and four goes here. Five and six goes here. Seven and eight go here. Nine and ten go here. Eleven and twelve go here. And thirteen and fourteen go here. So which one is Sumerian? Well, again, don't forget lanthanide and actinium both belong over here. So they don't count. So this is number one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be this one right here. And so that makes that negative one. And since five is the first of the two electrons to go into that path, the value for that then is negative one half. The six would be the positive one. So this is electron number 62. or scenario. And that's how you find the quantum numbers. Alright? So, your assignment is to find the quantum numbers for the following elements. That's one. Gallium, uh, ruthenium, uh, protactinium, rubidium, and hessium. Have fun.